What's up, y'all? Your boy is back. Now, in today's video, I'm giving you guys my review for YG's new album, For Real, For Real. Um, coming into this album, I really expected, you know, just something better than what we got, um, than Stay Dangerous. I feel like Stay Dangerous was a really, really bad album. And, you know, coming from somebody who gave us My Crazy Life and Stay Brazy, I really expected so, so much better from YG. So when he dropped that, I was like, yo, what the, what's going on, bro? You know, but unfortunately that happens with artists from time to time. You know, they drop one or two great projects or, you know, at least good or decent projects. And then they, there's always at least one for some, for some artists, there's always at least one that leaves a sour taste in people's mouth or, uh, you know, people are like, yo, what, what is this? You know, um, that was stay dangerous for some people. Um, so yeah, you know, I felt like YG needed to take a, just take a step back and just reevaluate what exactly what he wanted to do with his music and his career. And I feel like he took the time. Now we're here for real, for real comes out. Um, he took some time to release it, you know, after the un t untimely like passing of Nipsey Hussle and, um, we finally got it. And, you know, I, I was going into this album really hyped. You know, I wasn't expecting anything too crazy, nothing like over the top. My expectations were not over, overly exaggerated or nothing, but I was just expecting good music, you know. Um, my problem with this album is the fact that uh, I feel like a lot of the songs on here are either just boring. I feel like a lot of it is either boring or um, the, the, the beats don't match the flow or like you know, whatever YG is trying to do, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't come off. It doesn't sound right. You know, it just doesn't work well together. In my opinion, like on stop snitching, I felt like his flow was completely like him, him and the beat were running away from each other, bro. Like listen to the song, listen to his, his, his flow on, on, on stop snitching. And then listen to the beat. It's like they're completely separated from each other. And I'm trying to figure out, yo, what is going on? Not to mention that was probably one of the worst music videos I've ever seen in my freaking life. So there's that, you know. Um, songs like Bottle Service. I mean, I could deal with Bottle Service. I could deal with... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could deal with Bottle Service. I could deal with Hard Bottoms and White Socks. But can we talk about In the Dark? What was that? Like, what was that? Like, was that his attempt of, like, trying to be funny? Like, I I don't know what that song was. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. If that's, if that's what I'm doing, let me know. But I just feel like, yo, like, the hook on that, In the Dark, In the Dark. In the, like, re legit sounded like some blue face ass song. And I'm sitting here like, you, you nah, man. This ain't YG, bro. Who is this? Like, I'm sitting here trying to listen to the song. I'm like, man, what, what is this? Like, are you for real? This is one of these throwaway songs I'm talking about. A lot of these artists nowadays, for whatever reason, it sounds like they're taking throwaways and they're putting them on albums and they're releasing them. I don't know why they're doing it, but all of them are doing it, and it's pissing me off. The good stuff is locked away in the vault somewhere, and they're pushing out garbage. I don't know why y'all, I don't, what, what's going on, bro? Maybe because, maybe the garbage sells more? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, um, next on here, Go Loco. I actually enjoyed Go Loco. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Go Loco, I, I really enjoyed, like, Tiger on there was pretty damn cool, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy Tiger on there. And this is coming from somebody who has never really been a fan of Tiger like that. So, you know, there you go. Um, I was on the block. It's so boring. That was one of the most boring tracks on here. And mind you, damn near the whole album is boring as hell. But this song was boring. The only good thing about um I was on the block is Boogie. The only good thing, I was waiting the whole time for his verse. The entire time I'm listening to this track, bro. He woke the freaking track up. But unfortunately, he wasn't the first verse. He wasn't the second. He was the damn last. So we had to wait for his verse. We had to wait for his. So 
That was a boring ass song. Keisha had a baby. Okay. Thing with Keisha had a baby, right? I love storytelling tracks. I have no problem with the storytell uh, storytelling album. I love those. I'm a sucker for those. You know, I grew up listening to those. You feel me? But, 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 there is like, it comes a time when, you know, there's an appropriate time for like a storytelling type song or, you know, a storytelling type message. Like, I'm completely confused as to why, you know, we go from, we go from songs like In The Dark, Go Loco, Stop Snitching, I Was On The Block, and now Keisha Had A Baby. Like, it just, it just throws me off, you know, it, it threw me off listening to the track and trying to like, wait a minute, wait, wait, what? You know, like, I, I didn't understand it, you know? Help me understand it because I'm just completely just it didn't make sense. It didn't make any sense to me. And um, I felt like the track was like I felt like if you're going to do a storytelling track like that, it needs to be like more slower than than it was. I feel like it was like this. I think it needs to be like at least not dumb slow like oh like not like so people could listen to every word like nothing like that but you know just you know like a real storytelling song that's that's just how i feel about it man um heart to heart was also one of my favorites on here i will say that meek mill really did his thing on this on this track man really 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 did his thing um but as far as songs like play too much do not disturb do your dance um her story stop stitching with the baby whatever like i i really didn't care for anything on this album bro i couldn't care less i could care less <laughs> for anything else on this album my only favorite tracks on here are hard bottoms and white socks um go loco and heart to heart those are my those are my favorite tracks and how many tracks on here 14 i only like three i only like three Okay, so there you go. Um, I saw this article on Twitter from uh, DJ Booth. If you guys don't follow DJ Booth or don't know what DJ Booth is, it's pretty much like it's a music article, and um, they they did a music. Uh, one of the um, the writers, uh, I believe the name is Yo, and normally they do like the first listen, for kind of like a first reaction type thing. Do a first listen for an album that comes out and then they write about it, you know, as they're listening to it and then they write their final thoughts. Um, I, he wrote that this was YG at his most inspired. I don't know about this one, chief. I, I don't know about this one. Like I, I don't agree with that in the slightest. Okay. Like legit. I felt like this was YG at his most boring, <laughs> you know, like, when you think of YG, you think of like, please, please tell me why y'all was hating, please tell me why y'all was hating, please tell, you know, you think, you think of like, you, bro, and don't get me wrong, you know, a lot of the tracks on here, they had that West Coast appeal, you feel me, like, do your dance, do not disturb, you know, uh, even play too much, you know, songs like that, but it just, it just, it just wasn't working for me. It just did not do anything for me, you know, and it's, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks because I really wanted to like this album. I really wanted to enjoy this album, but I just, I just can't, I just couldn't with the exception of, of those three songs, you know, um, I really hope that hopefully in the next album that YG decides he's going to drop, hopefully it's better than this. Um, I said this for freaking Stay Dangerous. Hopefully that this was better than Stay Dangerous. Is it better? I guess you would say that, you know, but then again, it's like comparing, it's like comparing, uh, what, Kamikaze to Revival. Anything could be better than Revival after, comma, after, uh, Revival. So, I mean, whatever, you know, I don't know, man. That's my piece on it. That's my thoughts on it. That's my review for YG, for real, for real. Y'all let me know in the comment section your thoughts and your opinions on the album. Did you like it? Did you not like it? 
uh give me your thoughts you know i read them bitches if you guys enjoyed today's video do make sure to leave a like don't forget to subscribe for more as always on the squad thank you for watching cali is over in the corner knocked out i'm not zooming in because it's gonna take away a focus from me my beautiful ass face i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace